have a crack at this. Again, just to help you understand what's going on, right? Most people find addition a lot easier than subtraction, okay? And it's just kind of less error prone, which is why rather than doing this as this graph and this graph and then do the difference, I'm graphing this graph and this graph and I'm doing the sum, okay? Um, you could do it either way, but well, see how your brain goes, okay? So therefore, I've got them there and what I'm doing is adding, okay? I'm thinking about these ordinates up and down, those values, and I'm going to sum them, right? Now, some points, as you notice, are easier than others, right? There's one glaringly easy point that you can pick, namely zero, zero, zero right? So at the origin, yes. both components, absolute value of x and the negative absolute value of 2x, they're both equal to zero. So you add their ordinates, and there you go, you get zero. Okay? Good morning, sir. Take a sheet. Okay, now, what can I add to this, right? Now, I'll give you a bit of a hint, right? Um, having a look at our two components, right? The absolute value of x, as a function, think back to when you were doing, you know, all of your curve sketching, just your regular curve sketching. What kind of symmetry does the absolute value of x have? What kind of function is it? It's an even function, right? Because you've got this uh, reflective symmetry across the x-axis. The absolute value of well, negative the absolute value of 2x, also an even function, right? So therefore, when you add or subtract two even functions, you're going to get another even function, okay? So I'm going to be super cheap, as all mathematicians should strive to be, and I'm just going to do one side of this. I only need to do one side. Once I've got that side, I just reflect it across, okay? Mathematicians, famously lazy. Take advantage of it. Now, I've got this side, I'm gonna to go to the right, okay? Pick an ordinate, again, pick an easy one. What would you like, x equals? One. X equals one, super easy. I mean, pick a hard one if you want, but I'm not gonna do that on the board. At x equals one, I know exactly what this graph is equal to. It's one, what's the absolute value? One, one, okay. So if I put that there, that's fine. Now the ordinate that corresponds to that down here is gonna be negative absolute value of two, which is negative two. So you've got one, you've got negative two, you add them together, and that gives you negative one, right? So there you go, there's one order, there's the other one, so I'm looking like something over here, okay? Now this doesn't take too much logic to extend. Once I go to two, I've got two and negative four, right? So when you put them together, you're gonna to get negative two. In fact, you're gonna get all of the points on the line y equals negative x, all the way down this way, okay? So, having got the right-hand side, I don't need to apply any more effort to look at the left-hand side, I just flip them across, okay? And I get this graph. In fact, the exact graph that I get is y equals negative the absolute value of x, okay? Now, this is kind of interesting because usually we look at these and we say, hey, don't mess around with those absolute value signs. You've got to leave them where they are and they don't mix together, okay? We can mix them together in this special case because look, x, they went 2x, negative x, right? because these two share the same domain for when they switch over, right? They both switch over at x equals zero. So being that this one switches from negative x to x, and this one switches over from two x to negative two x at exactly the same point, you can just put them together and you just get a new piecemeal function with the same domain, 